Hi, this is Dr. John Chow, the inventor of the pinhole surgical technique, a procedure for correcting receding gums without scalpels, without sutures. I have an interesting case today. This is exactly one week ago. A week ago, we have this situation with our lovely patient, uh, with her husband, a doctor, and the cesiologist watching. The upper right side, recession here, here, and here. There was a filling here that we actually removed. And over here on the left side, the cuspid, uh, the bicuspid, and uh, the first molar. Well, exactly one week later, which is today, we have this situation from here to here. You get the cuspid from here to here. Now look at the left side from here to here, from here, number number 13 to here, mm. and 14 from here to here. So, uh, so Anna, how was your experience? If the, if, if the audience had not seen you before, this one week later, what comments do you have to be uh, regarding this procedure? Um, I'd have to say that I'm, I'm amazed at the results. Uh, and uh, I do have to say that the whole procedure overall was very comfortable. Um, everyone was just very warm and accommodative and made me feel very, like I'm in good hands. Um, and even with, the procedure itself during the pinhole pulling, uh, I just felt very secure, like I was in someone who was just very well crafted in, in his techniques. And um, and today, um, I mean, I'm looking at the pictures and what I'm feeling. Um, I'm excited to see what it'll look like in weeks to come. But I'm I'm very very impressed with what what the results are right now. Good. Mm -hmm. And do you have any comments regarding symptoms afterwards? Pain, swelling, bleeding, did you have much of that? No, I mean afterwards, um, and I don't recall an instance of even, I don't, bleeding or um, pain. Um, there was just pain a little bit afterwards, but the pain resolved over time. And um, um, I mean, it was just naturally healing is what I was feeling. And I was able to eat my food um, according to the rules and regulations of what I need to do to take care of my teeth and keep its results. On, um, but otherwise, I mean, everything felt very, very, very well. Good, good. Yeah. Okay, well, this is the husband doctor. You saw all of it? Yes. And uh, based on your experience as a medical doctor and an anesthesiologist, what are your comments on that? I guess my first initial thoughts while the surgery was occurring, I was excited to see that it was really minimally invasive. Surgery was happening uh, because of the amount of local anesthetic that she received. Uh, she really was not in any pain at all. And so that was also reassuring as an anesthesiologist, obviously that's something that I'm always thinking about uh, for work. Um, and then uh, even afterwards, um, well, after the local anesthetic wore off the first day, uh, it was the, the, the pain, the amount of pain that she had was uh, easily controlled by Tylenol and ibuprofen over the counter drugs. It was she didn't she did not require any kind of narcotics or any other kinds of stronger pain medications which is also very reassuring and uh, what do you think of the fact that it was true that there was no scalpels and sutures yeah there was absolutely no scalpel or sutures used i even actually asked if the holes needed to be sutured and uh dr chow said that uh, sutures suturing was not necessary in his experience and and it wasn't because now we see that even uh, that we came back for the post at uh, post op day one and there were the holes we couldn't even see the holes anymore they had yeah. already closed up mm -hmm. so it's true that you know surgical technique is effective and also scalpel free and suture free that's definitely true okay good and what do you think of the results one week later uh yeah very impressive i'm like i'm actually kind of i'm very amazed and very happy that uh that the results are what you said that they would be. Um, 